This video is about going back to a painting that I got stuck on a while ago. And I think we all have that uh, problem sometimes. You know, everything's going great and then suddenly, what do we do next? And I think at that stage, you have to just leave it and see what happens. And because of this, I have written um, a PDF on 10 tips of what to do when you get stuck and which is very helpful because we don't want to just abandon it and we don't want to feel like a failure and we feel you know disappointed if it's not going the way that we want so I think these tips will help you get over those blocks so I'm going to dive in and have some courage and do something drastic with this painting so I hope you enjoy so I'm just starting here by just doing a bit of drawing over it you know it's just kind of free and easy just to kind of have a mark out where I feel that it would um, like to go next and then I'm just adding paint and I'm very kind of conscious of keeping the contrast and really giving the painting a, a boost uh, which it needed <laughs> I think and I think you do have to have courage um, when you're doing something like this. You know, you have to take the risk. I mean, after all, it's only a painting. I mean, it's not life and death. Um, so it's kind of fun to do to push the boundaries and see what will happen and um, go with your gut feeling, go with your intuition. Now, I'm putting the paint on quite thick here. And, you know, I've got a lot of the, the soft, smooth um, areas and then I want the very opaque, stronger areas. And then, you know, once I've done this, you can then blend it in. I'm only just using a kitchen roll here. And it's amazing, you know, the different effects that you can get from um, doing it in this way. You can really build up the layers. Bearing in mind this painting has already got two or three layers on it. So I'm kind of going over the top of all that too. And, um, you know, once you get back in the zone, it tells you, <laughs> which is interesting. So I'm just going to let the music play and um, enjoy the process and I'll come back to you shortly.
can see it's um, dramatically changed, but that's kind of how I felt when I looked at it this morning and I thought it just needed something extra to it. And I'm going to leave it again and just then come back and do some finishing touches. And I think we're there. You know, what I wanted to do is to get some very different textures and the design, the different values, the contrast, and we're more or less there now. So I feel much happier with it. <laughs> so uh, let's leave it and then come back and just do the final touches on it. I think it's looking much better now. I'm much happier with it. Um, I've got some acrylic pens here. Um, a white one and I've got an orange one here and I've also got some very nice um, crayons uh, which I might just use for some edges and these finishing touches can just make all the difference. This is an acrylic um, an acrylic Liquitex um, pen which is really great, I love it <laughs> and I'm just shaking it to uh, get it going and I kind of like to just do some interesting things over the top just to give it a, an extra little boost so that's my white pen with the orange pen I'm just going to define a few lines so for example here you know, when we talk about having some very soft lines, you know, soft blended areas, we want some sharp lines. So we want those contrasts, again, uh, another kind of straight line here. And it just kind of brings the painting again, their centres of interest. Let's put one in here. And maybe up here. So when you're doing this kind of thing, it just gives, again, a few extra uh, contrast points and focal points and points of interest. Let's put one in down here. And I, I like doing this with the pen because um, it sharpens it up and it just gives you an extra little something. <laughs> so... Just doing a few here. And I think I'm going to do um, something with my white crayon here. Just in a few areas, just to break some of it up. It's different to the pen, it's just a little bit softer. Uh, it stops it just being do something over here, just like scraping it in a little really, just a few little highlights, <clears throat> kind of interesting. You might not notice them so much on camera, but you know, when you have a look at a close up, they're again just adding a little bit of interest here. Okay, so <clears throat> in critiquing, you know, looking at our design, our values, and our composition. To me now, the composition is working very much better. It's much stronger. You really know what you're looking at. <laughs> and um, your eye is staying within uh, the painting. And actually, some of the white lines also take you round, as well as the, the dark areas. You've got some really interesting um, value differences and contrast 
uh, your lights and your darks. You've got some very kind of nice textures going on and then some very smooth texture. So there's a little bit of everything going on in here, <laughs> which is what we wanted. Um, so I'm, I feel uh, pleased that it's now come together. Well, there we go. Um, it turned out much better than I thought it would. So I'm really happy with it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up and, you know, tell me what you think. Did you enjoy the process of me, you know, reworking it and doing some different things with it? So do share that. That would be great. And if you want some more videos like this, press um, the notification and subscribe and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.